U.S. royal commentator Kinsey Schofield said, interferences from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made Prince Charles and the Duke of Cambridge nervous. Her comments come after the Sussex's spokesperson confirmed the couple will visit the UK for charity work next month. It comes amid strained relations with the Sussexes and the firm following Meghan and Harry's sensational decision to quit royal life and move to the US. Since then they sent shockwaves through the royal family by carrying out bombshell interviews. The firm will also be awaiting the release of the Duke's hotly anticipated memoir, where is expected to lift the lid on life inside the world's most famous family. Ms. Kinsey, founder of To Die, command author of book, R is for Revenge Dress, told Express. Company UKTHE Sussex's upcoming visit would be, rival royal engagements executed by retired senior members of the royal family. She said, what we are seeing here is rival royal engagements executed by retired senior members of the royal family. This is likely very frustrating to Prince Charles and Prince. They have a clear plan for the future of the monarchy and these types of interferences from Harry and Meghan make them nervous. The Sussexes' visit to the UK will be the first time they have been back in the country since the Queen's Jubilee celebrations in early June, when they attended the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral. It falls in the same week the new Prime Minister is due to be announced and asked to form a government by the Queen. Meghan and Prince Harry starting to get nervous over couples' longevity in Hollywood Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have begun to grow nervous over their longevity in Hollywood, according to former Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown. Harry's 96-year-old grandmother is expected to return to London from her annual summer break at Balmoral to carry out her head of state duties, and is likely the Duke will want to visit the monarch. A spokesperson for the couple said, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are delighted to visit with several charities close to their hearts in early September. Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan, 41, are no strangers to offering details into life as a royal and has previously ruffled feathers inside the firm with a tell-all interview with American TV network NBC and U.S. host Oprah Winfrey. During a sit-down interview with NBC's Hoda KOTV, the Duke gave insight into his relationships with members of the royal family. The Duke spoke fondly of his reunion with his beloved grandmother, the Queen, but failed to mention his meeting with his father Prince Charles and stepmother Camilla. He later dodged a question about whether he missed his father and his older brother Prince William suggesting that a rift between the princes still existed. Before this chat, Meghan and Harry also opened up on his experiences and feelings about the royal family during a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey where Harry said the reason for leaving the firm was because of a lack of support and lack of understanding. They also hinted at a rift between Harry and Prince Charles, with the Duke claiming that at one point his father had stopped taking my calls. Meghan, who is biracial, also accused an unnamed royal of racism and Harry said his family had cut him off financially. They said an unnamed royal, not the Queen or Prince Philip, of making a racist comment about their son Archie. In the interview, the couple claimed there had been concerns and conversations raised by a member of the family about what color Archie's skin would. Following his wife's allegation, Harry said, that conversation, I am never going to share. At the time, it was awkward, I was a bit shocked. Their claims sparked a backlash and prompted the royal family to issue a rare statement, noting that they remain loved members of the family but recollections about their experience may vary. Their relationship with the other royals has been frosty since then, most notably with Harry's elder brother Prince William. But Ms. Schofield said Harry would not be back in his hometown to heal wounds. She added, I believe Prince Harry has regrets over the way that he handled his exit and perhaps his Oprah interview. Unfortunately, the Sussexes have responsibilities around creating content and I suspect that this trip has more to do with content creation than healing any old wounds.